Has he opened the door? No. I've been standing there since and he has refused to open the door. What kind of doctor is this now? She should come and give us a situation report. What's wrong with him? Take your medications. Not try. Your heart is of paramount interest to me. Your heart is very weak, Chief. And I don't think it will survive another attack like this. I have so much to do, Doctor. I cannot stay cooped up in bed like chicken. Or oh, have you forgotten I have a big empire to run? Yes, I know you, I know. But you can't really get some of your functions to your grandsons. After all, they've grown up enough to take over from you. Hand over my holding to those two. <laughs> they should at least wait until I'm dead. And if I can do anything about it, not even then. But Chief, they remain your only relations for now. Regrettably so. But Dr. Cliff, I didn't invite you here to come and dish out advices to me. Doctor, tell me, can I get out of here and resume my work? If you ask for my sincere opinion or medical advice, I feel you should just retire. But a month rest would help to amend your heart at least. A month? Yes, a month. Uh, I have to take my leave. Anyway, thank you. Uh, remember to send your bills to my accountant. It's okay, sir. Is he dead? No. No, he's not dead. But I'm afraid his heart is very weak now and uh, cannot survive on an attack like this. Well, that is to be expected, you know, uh, being as old as he is. Doctor, please, can't anything be done? No, madam. Nothing else can be done than to make sure he takes his medications, enjoy enough rest. I know the chief to be a very stubborn man. But you must try as much as possible to make him stay off his feet. All right, Doctor. Um, Doctor, can we go up to see him now? Uh, yes, you can, but don't stay too long. Thank you very much, President. Tom, are you not coming? Oh, I, I am. Just go ahead. I'll, I'll meet you guys then. Let me see Dr. Cleave to the door. Grandfather is mm -hmm. going to pull through this heart attack, or do you see a relapse coming? And well, I would matters as delicate as this, you never can tell. But I believe that he will sit through this time. Oh, um, don't get me wrong. I was only worried and concerned to his state of health. It's expected. Thank you, very much. Okay. Chief, we just want to see how you're faring. I'm not dead yet, if that is what you came to confirm. Ah, uh -uh, Grandpa. No one is wishing you dead. Our only concern is for you. Huh. Well, before we go, is there anything we can get for you? Something that will make you more comfortable? No, Rose. I am very comfortable. I don't think I need anything. Thank you. He doesn't want to be disturbed.
breakfast to your grandpa upstairs, okay? Okay, Mom. Be careful on the stairs. Grace! Yes? Move these teacups to the dining room. I didn't like the food. Did he even open it to see it? I just told him that I brought his breakfast and he started shouting on me. So what did you say his problem was? He said he's not dead yet, that he's coming to eat. But didn't you tell him the doctor said he should stay off his feet for at least a month? When he comes downstairs, you can say that to him yourself. Because me, I'm not ready to get my head beaten off. Foolish girl. It's your late father who bites off heads. No, Rose. I can't almost read your mind. You think I'm too weak to survive so that you and your brats can take over. Is that not it? You, get up immediately. says you should be eating. Damn that doctor, who thinks he knows everything? Grandpa, you should be in a lighter mood this morning. Anyway, I have to run, I have to get to the office. find an excuse. Sorry to disappoint you, Grandpa. As you can see, I've not finished eating my breakfast. Absent, at least I can rest. Now I know which is worse, his absence or his presence. Well, that's what you get for being the infamous Chief Thompson's secretary. Thank you so very much. Anyway, I was on my way to lunch, so I just thought that um, I could come ask you if you would accompany me. Sorry, you're late. Someone already asked me. Who's that? Hey, tell me, what are you doing here? Well, the same thing you came to do, but the difference is that you beat me to it. So it seems like the sunshine, are you ready? Yeah, I'll just get my hand back. All right then. I'll see you later. All right, Tom. Have fun. Don't forget that. As if I could. 
So, how is he? Hope it's great and it's been well, well, Grandpa is doing well, thank you very much. I guess he's giving you guys hell for his helpless state. Hell is an understatement. You see, Grandpa is as cantankerous as ever, but we wouldn't have him any other way. I really don't know what would have happened if that man had died in hell. Speak for yourself, Sati. Someone else's world wished him dead. At least we start to gain a No, thank you. Yeah. I know what. Your name's Mira. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how much you start to gain? Can it buy me your love? That's for starters. At least you can go wherever you want to and do what they want. Man, money can talk. Now I see why you keep refusing my proposal each time I ask you to marry me. Hey, hey, hey. Who's getting serious here? No, but seriously now, don't you think you should give my proposal a serious thought? Hey, you promised never to bring the subject of marriage again. At least allow me to enjoy this free drink. Okay, you win. But I'll keep bugging you until you accept my proposal. Good morning, Grandpa. I hope you slept well. Good morning. I don't see what is good in the morning. Well, I'm sorry about that, but once in a while you're bound to feel that way. But when you get better and start moving around, you will feel differently. So what do you want? Well, I was on my way to the office. I just thought that um, I should come ask you if you want me to do anything for you at the office. What are you feeling like? My successor? No, I just thought that. Because I'm not incapacitated yet. I can still run my company. Even though I'm on my sick bed. Sick bed or dead bed? I didn't hear what you said. I said, excuse me. I'm off to work. I'll see you when I get back. Have a lovely day. is making you put your carpet thing. Dave, I've suffered. I've eaten shit. No, just calm down and tell me who you're quarreling with. Who else? Who else can design to mock me in that manner if not your eccentric and cantankerous grandfather? I even thought you were talking about something very important. You and I know Grandpa's life's work is working towards being so negative. No, Dave. You're the one who do not understand Grandpa. What he did today went beyond the power of negativity. So, what happened? Well, I went to Grandpa this morning to ask him if there's anything that needs his attention in the office for me to tidy up for him. I said I went to him this morning to ask no, him. No, 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 I understand what you said. But what amazes me is how could you do such a thing when you know the man has become so sensitive of late? For Christ's sake, whether he likes it or not, he will die someday. Tom, it's okay. So what was his reply? When I went, he didn't even reply my greeting. He said, uh, what am I feeling like? Am I feeling like the success or something that I should get out of his face and strong enough to take care of his business? Could you imagine how sarcastically he said, Oh God, I never felt something like that. So is you right? Is that all you have to say? Of course, what do you want me to say? 
I mean, the man is not that frail that he cannot take control of his empire. I wouldn't blame him if he thinks you're so much in a hurry to take over his position. Jesus Christ. I don't even know why I told you in the first place. I should have known that you would take sides. Well, Thomas, you're not getting any pizza in this angle. You just take it easy. No wonder. After all, you're not my father's son. Mr. Tong, I just wanted to know if I can take a ride with you. That is, if you're going home straight. Yes, as a matter of fact, I'm going home straight from the office. Is there anything important you want to do at home? Yes, the chairman requested I should bring some file to the house for him to sign. Okay, if that's the only reason why you want to go to the house, I can as well drop the file for you. Well, I'm not sure if the chairman will be happy about that. Why would he be unhappy? He's my grandfather. Uh, well, you know, you can. The chairman is very unpredictable. I, I don't want any kind of problems. Uh, well, if you know you don't trust me enough to take the file to him, well, you can wait after I close up work. Then uh, you come and join me. I'll drop no, that. No, no, no. Why shouldn't I trust you? I trust you very well. <laughs> and um, uh, I'll be very grateful if you take it to him. That will save me more time to take care of him. Um, some business in your office. So uh, you can drop it there. I should drop it here. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, please uh, remind me before the close of work so that I won't forget the file. Okay. okay. Uh, please extend my greetings to the chairman. I will. Thank you. you requested for from Charles, the accountant. And what was his excuse for not bringing them himself? Well, I don't know. He was hurrying off to somewhere, so I was going, coming home and I gave them to me to give to you. Um, let me go and freshen up. Excuse me. So this wicked old man is practically running a gold mine by himself. No wonder he refuses to die. To think what I stand to inherit at the occasion of his death. But wait a minute. This one is so uptight and sensitive about his position as chairman of the empire. Are you sure he'd want to relinquish his hold even when dead? What still? He may decide to favor that bastard, Dave, more than myself. Tommy, man, I cannot allow that to happen now. Not with knowing what I know. I do? Oh, something entered my eyes. What? Please, mommy. My teacher said that he is in heaven watching over us. And you know you will not be happy. I won't cry anymore, okay? Mommy. Hmm? Please, can you come and read my bedtime story before I go to sleep? Okay. Go back to your room. I'll be there in a moment. Hmm. I saw Madame Rose. Haven't you noticed 
she has not been herself for almost a month now. Yes. She has been refusing her meals, preferring only crackers and water. Do you think she's pregnant? Don't talk rubbish. How can that be? Her husband just died. Have you forgotten? I've not forgotten. How did you not explain any more sicknesses? A lack of appetite. I believe she's pregnant. That's true. Hey. Barely five months after her husband's death. I never would have believed it myself. Have you seen your madam lately? No. Why? Haven't you noticed she's pregnant again? It's a lie. Okay. It's a lie. Since you are the only person in this household who has I cannot see, she's pregnant again. You don't mean it. But she looks as if she cannot hurt a fly. Mm. Because those people that look so angelic, they are the people that do worse damage. So what would she do about it? Okay. He might not do anything after all when she had the uh, master day. What did you do? Nothing. Okay. <coughs> let me see I should give you the school to wash. You can drop it here. You think you overheard us? battle for what rightfully belongs to me with that bloody bastard. Whether grandpa wishes it or not, it's time to begin to take over the bed. Make no mistake about that. They don't know me. It's me. It's me, Amber.
Well, David. How has the business been faring since my absence? Um, well, Grandpa, we've not been doing badly. You know, but things haven't been the same with you not holding the tough. <laughs> well, everybody, I'm thinking of formally returning to work come Monday. But, Chief, Chief, are you sure? Doctor, please say that. Forget Doctor, please. What does he know? Grandpa, I think you should uh, have proper rest before resuming work. So that you'll be strong before mm. resuming work. I have had enough rest as I can get. The rest I get when I die. Grandpa, we're only concerned for you. But if you say you're up to it, why not? We'll gladly welcome you back. Now you are talking sense. Is that Grandpa's juice? Yes, it is, sir. Yeah, I think my mom is calling you upstairs. I think she needs you gently. Okay, let me go and see what she needs. He said he was okay and he insisted to go to work. We didn't argue with him because he looked okay to us. You got a judgment on the bedside? Even though he wants you to believe that he has fully recovered, his heart is still very weak. But doctor, is he going to be alright? Well, he, he's falling through. 
provided his heart is stable. And if all things goes well, he will be back home by next week. Thank God. And Dr. Oba calls uh, this sudden relapse. Oh, well, we are not too certain yet, uh, since the result of the test is not yet out. But I have no doubt in my mind that it's just a situation of his heart being overstrained. I see. Yeah. Well, if you don't mind, you will excuse me. I will appreciate this. Thank you. That was a close call. Had Dr. Cliff not been hasty in his conclusion and had done a breakthrough checkup on Cliff, I would surely have been fried. But I'm sure I've had enough of the substance to clean him up. Man, that man has a thick skull. Well, I must devise another plan in order to get what I want. This time, I must be very careful. Shall we not be compliment? No, so, nah, uh, what's in day? What's in day? Don't trust me again. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm telling you. Okay. Let's see, listen. We need a lot of privacy to talk what we want to discuss right now. Okay. So let's see outside. Thank you. I want you to come and work for me as my grandfather's nurse. Why me? If your grandfather is ill and needs a nurse, can't the doctor get him one? No, Jojo, you don't understand. You see, see, listen. The old man has been very sick and refuses to die. Okay? And I can't wait till eternity. I, I don't have such patience. So I can't wait until he dies for me to claim what rightfully belongs to me. So I want an insider to successfully send me to his grandfather's. Okay. So, what's the net for me then? Um, how about a cash payment of 500,000 naira? Half now. Then the balance will be paid after the job is completed. Then an expense trip to America. Then. You stay there until the heat dies down, then you can come back. I'll say that's the job to do. And, um... You've got yourself a deal. So when do I start? Don't worry, I'll contact you. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Mom, I don't know, I was thinking, um, since Grandpa is coming in tomorrow, it would be a good idea if we'll hire a personal nurse that will be taking care of him. A nurse? Yeah. Why? Like uh, Dr. Cleve Ragnar said, that grandpa is looking free lately. And uh, if we hire a personal nurse, I think it will go a long way in guiding against the reoccurrence of what happened. I think you have a point there. Why not call Dr. Cliff and see if he'll be of help? It's all right then, I'll just put a call to him straight away. Huh? Oh, no, Dave, uh, don't, don't worry. I've had all that arranged. Really? Yes. You see, I have a friend whose sister said that she has a friend whose sister's friend's sister is a nurse. So I, when I talked to her about it, she now, you know, you know, relayed the message to her and she agreed to come and help. Are you trying to say she agreed to leave her place of work to take care of grandpa? <laughs> Why not? With the pictures that have been paid at the hospital, immediately she was offered, she jumped at it. That's wonderful news. So when is she going to start? Well, immediately grandpa returns. Well, it's all good. At least that's one big load off our backs, believe me. Um, in that case, Mom, uh, let me put a call through. Uh, Grace? I remember 
rather rain on the roof than to mourn it. And all the things that I wanted to say. And the angry words came out. Ah, mommy! Hey. Hi, Julia. Mm -hmm. mm. You're welcome. Uh, thank God I caught you at home. The nurse. Her name is Jojo. Jojo, meet my mom. Good afternoon, madam. Good day. How are you, my dear? I'm fine, thank you, madam. You're welcome. Thank you. I, I hope my son has explained everything to you, especially the fact that you're going to live in. Yes, he did, madam. Good. So, that's um, Call the house girl to come and take her in. Uh, Grace? Grace? Yeah. Come. Uh, please, uh, her. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome once again. So, how is Grandpa doing? <sighs> so, so, who's that? Hey, Mom, what are you watching? Football? Since when? Since now. <laughs> Alright, Mom, let me get something. Enjoy yourself. and uh, do a series of written down on it. Okay. Uh, make sure it takes it as a human deal. Hmm? Responding to treatment. Yes, sir. Um, Grandpa, I, I just came to find out how you're doing. I, I hope you're getting stronger. Sorry, Chief. 
things to the kitchen. I'll bring them back when he's ready. That's okay. I'll wait for him. It's okay. Grandpa, please get well soon. We really do miss you and your gruff nature. Please don't leave us yet. Did you find a nose? No, I couldn't find her. I couldn't see her. That is regrettable. I wanted to find out from her if she had administered the drug as I've been instructed her. And to find out about her from her also what this is all about. You know, it doesn't really matter. I wonder if the test comes out. And we can start up from there. So why is it? Well, it's still in coma, huh? Everything is okay. His heart is old enough. Thank God for that at least. Dave. Yes, ma'am. Did you inform your brother Tom about Grandpa's condition? Thomas went for a party last night and I've been calling his number all day, but it's been really unavailable. Grandfather is not dead yet, but he's incapacitated. That means the mantle falls on me now to take charge of everything because I will not allow this great empire to be crumbled. What? Enough. I think I've answered your questions. Right now, I want you to go call all the head of department to meet me in my office right now, excluding David, my brother. Now, get going. <laughs> Um, so, gentlemen and ladies, as you all know, my grandfather, Chief A.J. Thompson, the chairman of this company, has been sickly and indisposed lately. In my own opinion, this company has been abandoned like a ship without a captain, and I intend to change that. 
from today, I have taken over from my grandfather. I make every decision in this office. And everything that goes on in this office must get my approval. Is that understood? I'm sorry, Mr. Tom. When did this change take place? I mean, I thought we should receive a notice from the company's legal team about any change of power. What? Are you by any means questioning my authority here? No, 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 Mr. Tom. I, I think things should be done the right way. At least the shareholders of the company should be here at this meeting, if not your family members. You shut your big mouth. I did not call you here to think. I think you're going to constitute the proverbial Turn in my flesh, and I will not allow myself to make that mistake. I'm sorry, Mr. Tom, but, but I, 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 um, I know that this company is going to miss your services, but we intend to take that risk. You have been relieved of your duty. I'm sorry, Mr. Tom, but don't fire me. I have a wife and two children. If you, if you fire me, how do I feed them, sir? Well, you should have thought of that before questioning my orders. Um, Linda. Yes, sir. I want you to place an advert in the newspapers for a chartered accountant because I know there are too many out there looking for one. Okay, sir. Um, is there any other objections to my instruction? Yes, sir. Go. I can see that uh, you all learn very quickly and you are very intelligent at that. Well, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, Every contract, every transaction must get my approval before it's done. No money is withdrawn without my say so. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. Good. I am in total control. Zero, Joe, please accompany this man out of this company. What's this nonsense I hear of you taking over as chairman and you sacking the accountant? I can see you've lost the little manners they thought you in kindergarten. Is this how to budge into someone's office without notice? I'm not here for your nonsense, so answer my question. I'm sorry, Pastor Dave. What was that your question again? Remind me? I said, on whose authority did you presume to take over as chairman of A.J. Thompson Holdings? And what did the accountant by name Mr. Charles do to Enema Sack? Now tell me, which one of them is your point of interest that I took over the mantle of leadership? I mean, the chairman of AJ Thompson's hold in Nigerian Limited, or that I got that nitwit Mr. Charles fired? You actually have no right to do either of the two. I have every right and every authority to do anything as long as this company is concerned. Oh really? Is that what you think? It's obvious, isn't it? I am the only descendant of Chief A.J. Thompson, and I'm meant to take over mantle of leadership at the instance of his death. You know something, Tom? I didn't want to say this earlier, but I have to say it anyways. I feel so ashamed for you. I mean, how can you be seated there struggling for material wealth when grandpa is at the hospital having a battle of his life? The man is not even dead and you're just sharing his properties. Who is talking about sharing here? Nobody is sharing anything. I am the only heir of Chief A.J. Thompson. I own everything here. Huh? You see, it is my prerogative to do as I deem fit. As your grandfather, don't bother yourself. The old ghost will die someday. And the sooner he dies, the better for all of us concerned. Don't you think so? You're so despicable. I'm so ashamed to call you my brother. Don't bother. You know, Dave, we are not really brothers. Don't you know that? You are fair and I am dark. You know, Tom, I will not descend so low to furnish that with a reply. 
but I have this advice for all you. Be careful, Tom. Because you see, this hole you're digging could actually turn around to be your grave. Uh oh. Church, thank you for that little quote there. Now get out of my office. Or do you want me to call the bodyguards to throw you out? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Zoro! So, taking advantage of Grandpa's state of health, Tom declared himself chairman of AJ Thompson. He even went further to sack our most trusted accountant of many years, you know, to exercise his power. But, but how can Tom be so wicked as to demote your grandpa, even when he has not died yet? No, no, David, I don't, I don't believe this. Mom, you better believe it. Because Tom has gone further to declare himself the only living descendant and heir apparent to Chief AJ Thompson. <laughs> he must be joking then. Has he forgotten about your uncle Raymond in America? Okay, what about you and your sister Angela? Don't you count too? We don't count. Tom sees Uncle Raymond as a threat. Yes. Tom actually cold bloodedly denied my brotherhood with him. Wait, what, what, what do you mean, denied your brotherhood with him? He told me simply that I'm not his brother and I don't count in the general scheme of things. You see, Mom, there is no limit to what Tom can do to get what he wants, which is gaining absolute control of A.J. Thompson Holdings. He didn't do the job. How do you mean? He died, didn't he? The old fool is at the hospital. Listen, Jojo, I didn't pay you to put him to coma. But I, I made sure I put enough of those drugs to snuff him out. That means... That means he refused to be snuffed out, Jojo. So what happens now? The... Does that mean I'm no longer going to America? You will, girl. You will. Well, you see, this time, it's not America. I am going to take you to a place where you are going to remain permanently. Tell um, me. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me the fox Tell me. likes fixing loose ends. And uh, you are my part of the loose end that I want to fix, you know? Tommy, no, no. Tommy the Fox in a fix.
Linda, I want to give you the honor of having lunch with me today. Oh, sir, I can't. I have a heavy workload. Uh, Linda, come on, let's dispense that sir. You can call me Tommy. I don't bite. Right, Tommy. But I can't. Hey, Linda, listen. You are going to have lunch with the German Chief Executive Officer of AJ Thompson Holdings. Chief Thomas Thompson Jr. That's me. I won't suck you. Just go. Okay? Tidy up your table. Let's make it dinner while I tidy up my own table. It's okay. I am going to take you to more places like this. That is, if you continue to be a good girl. Come on, Tommy. Haven't I always been a good girl? Really? Yeah. So what about Dave? Dave? What about him? Mm -hmm. Dave and I are just friends. Mm. Yeah. Just friends? Just friends. Well, Linda, whatever it is, just know that I don't adapt too well to share. You don't have to. Believe me, Dave and I have nothing in common. We're just friends. Yeah. Alright. We'll see. Yeah, Go ahead and eat your food. Let me watch you. Hmm. Let's see what it has to say. Hello. 
Hello, darling. How are you? I didn't see you at the office today. What happened? Yeah, I had the day off. You had the day off? Now, who would have thought that of my brother, you know, giving a member of staff a day off? Big fool. Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, Dave. I thought I heard another voice. No, I'm all alone here. Okay, um, well, um, speaking of being alone, uh, I'm alone at, you know, a Sky Hotel, and I think it would be one nice idea for you to come keep me company. Um, you see, Dave, I can't really make it. I'm really indisposed. You're indisposed? What's the problem? No, not really. Just normal female visitor of the month. Okay then, um, my luck. I'll see you at the office Monday then. Okay, bye Dave. Bye. Now you can see that there is nothing between Dave and I, at least not on my own side. So why didn't you tell him that I was with you? All in good time, my love. All in good time. See, with the way things are going on at the office right now, I need to stir a lot, you know, in case of surprises. Okay. See you in the evening. Hey. Have a nice day. Why is the car still dirty? Uh, I small mother and tell me say my wash them, but I know if you wash them. Joseph, I, I said, why is my car still dirty? Now they talk say I know if you wash the motor, I'm very nervous. What I rubbish know. are you talking about? Are your hands burnt? See, I'm like, no burn. I wash your man go. I don't want to lose my job, or girl. What do you mean you don't want to lose your job? Now, chairman. He give us instructions, say, no, no, take any instruction from anybody except him for this house. So I know if he do anything for anybody except him. Who the hell is chairman? No, I got Thomas, so. I got Thomas, now be the chairman. He said, if we do anything for anybody for this house, we go lose our job. Let me have my car keys. Huh? I said, let me have the car keys. Huh? Go ahead, go. All of them be the instruction when they talk now. Joseph, let me have my car keys. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, go sack me. As you did here, so if you enter now, my own don't finish with that. When you go say, when you go say you don't fire me, all those small, small grammar where they fall am. You know, go there that time. All those up will be where they fall am. Go begin hit me. I better go shoot. Jimo. Sir? Go get me a car. Now, first of all, where they go drop a walk with the fan? Me, I know they. Jimo! You know they here. Yeah. Oh, you got sent to mom. Fire. Jimo! You are fired. You know they did. Yeah. All those big boys where they fall on. Suppose no. Thomas. Chairman. Thomas. Now, Chairman, you got the call and now, no. Chairman. I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to go to the office. They ask me, I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to go to the office. Angela, please go get me a cab. A cab? What do you need a cab for? Is your car bad? 
If you know Thomas, I repeat, if you know Thomas, your son, warn him. Because I won't take this insult again. Dave, calm down and tell me what he has done this time. I mean, can you imagine Thomas instructing the driver and, and other workers in this compound, telling them not to take orders from no one but him? I don't understand. How do you mean? Can you imagine? This morning, I instructed the driver to wash the car. Okay. Only for me to come out to see it's still dusty. I asked him why. And for him to tell me some trash about him not wanting to lose his job. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Is there anything one cannot see in this world? Eh? So what's the meaning of all this now? Well, I don't know. But what I do know is this. Please. Tell Tom that if he has a problem, he should please take it out on someone else because I won't take this insult lying down. Oh, the cab is waiting. It's okay. Have a nice day, okay? What was that all about? I don't know. Angela, I don't just know. Ever since your grandfather went into coma, Thomas just changed. He has become a different man. Hey, God. I'm finished. Come on, Mom. It hasn't gotten that bad now. It hasn't. I am afraid, Angela. It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid for. Okay? It's not important. We have strict orders not to allow you to the premises. What's this rubbish? Who are you? know who your chairman is, whom I think is the most stupid person on earth and a very madman too. Do you understand me? Now, I will not take this rubbish from the both of you, all right? Please excuse me and you two better leave here before I call the securities to throw you two out. Do you understand me? Now, excuse me. Well, are you deaf? Leave. Listen, this is my office. This is where I work, where I have been working too. I will not take this nonsense. Please excuse me. Secure the plan B. 
Mm. Not to wait, Chama. Mommy, is that a surprise? Yeah, baby. The kind of surprise you love. That's me. Mm. Mm. I suppose you have not learned on how to knock a someone's dog for virgin in a heap. Oh, you. You lost the job, and now you're gone. What? A rough terrain. Let's say it's the survival of the powerful. You bastard. Alas for you. Thank you. You have outlived your usefulness. Now, get out of my room. Bastard. Slime. I'll get you for this. I promise you. Even if it's the last thing I will do, I promise you will pay for it. <laughs> From your mother and brother here. About your sudden change of character ever since this year, uh, grandfather's illness. Oh, really? Did they say what I did to them? <sighs> Thomas, we have not come to split heads. Neither are we here to apportion blames. We have come to make peace between you and your brother. Thomas, your uncles are talking to you. You should at least appreciate that fact. Instead of puffing cigarette smoke on their faces. Hey, woman, you don't presume to tell me what to do in my house. I did not invite them here. Thomas, don't you dare talk to mommy that manner or else. Or what? David, or what? What will happen? What will you do to calm me? Down, calm, calm down, down. Yes. Yes. calm down. Please. Calm down, calm eh? down, Calm down, please. Go and sit down. Nonsense. <sighs> Uh, Thomas, my son, we learned that uh, you relieved your brother of his job in your grandfather's company. Um, we would like to know why. Single. I got tired of charity cases on my hand. What? Thomas, you call me a charity case? I, David Thompson, a charity case. Thomas. Yes. If you're not a charity case, then what are you? What else? Mad. Me? David, you are sick. <laughs> you know I'm sick that we are brothers, eh? I would have just dealt with you right here, right now. Hey. Don't call me your brother because I'm not your brother. Okay? You and your sister are invaders who have come to pilot what does not belong to you. Calm down, children, please. Calm down. Calm down, please. Eh? Please, get back to your seat, uh, Thomas. Please, let us settle this matter amicably, please. There's nothing to settle. Chris, who invited you here? Why are you here in the first place? You do not have the right to meddle into a family matter. You do not have any idea what is happening there. Anyway, I don't have time to waste with jobless fools. And you, woman, next time you are calling a meeting and you want me to be there, make sure that you have an agenda for the meeting before my appearance. If not, Anyway, I have work to take care of. Thomas. Thomas. No, how can you do this? No, 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 no. Thomas no, no. is saying too much now.
I can't believe Tommy will deny our ownership with him just because of wealth. It's so unfair. I can't believe this. It's, it's unbelievable to me. I mean, I, I never believed Tom would go this far. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, for Tom to actually go... Excuse me. Uh, hello? Who was that? What is it? Come on, talk to me. What is it? That was Dr. Cliff. What did he say? Grandpa is dead. about we lost him. I'm sorry. Well, I guess it's the will of God. We must all die someday. Yeah, please take it easy, madam. Mm -hmm. Please take heart. He was in so much pain. Uh, yes, I believe. Uh, it is better this way. Uh, uh, Mr. Day, uh, did you come with your brother? I, I tried to Doctor, you couldn't make it. In that case, uh, you have to follow me to my office. Because there are certain things we need to talk about. Doctor, I hope there's no problem. Uh, uh, Mr. Dave, if I may ask, do you have any idea about a nurse that was hired to look after your grandfather? Not personally. Why? Well, you see, the result of the test that was run on the chief is out. And there is a huge percentage of nicotine in his bloodstream. Nicotine? Yeah. How is that possible? Well, that is exactly what I want to find out too. And I believe the only person that is in a better position to say, to say that is not Jojo because she was directly in charge of your grandfather's case. Wait a minute, doctor. Are you trying to say that nurse Jojo must have administered nicotine to grandpa? That she could be responsible for his death? You know, he was murdered? At this point, you cannot rule out anything. And that's why it's imperative that we see Nurse Georgia to ask her some few questions. Well, unfortunately, she she has disappeared into the thin air. You know, but one thing I do know is that I must get to the bottom of this, even if it's the last thing I do. It's okay, but you must be very, very careful. Thank you. It's okay. Listen, girl, I like enjoying myself. So, tell me, why didn't you come with uh, Rebecca? I told you that, why come in? You should come with Rebecca. What happened, girl? Oh, kiss your back. Oh, kiss your back. Oh, kiss your back. Oh, kiss your back. Thomas. Why are we supposed to be called? Dr. Cliff and I have been calling you all day. Well, I'm busy. You can see I'm a busy man. So tell me, what was it that you wanted to let me know? Well, is grandfather's death important enough? Well, well, well. So, finally it has happened, huh? You mean that old fool has finally gone kapoor? Go! That's good news! 
I feel like celebrating. What do I do now? Yeah. Zero! Yes, Zero! Come here! He's finally gone kaput. Go! Zero, please. Yes, bro. Listen, I just got a piece of information that gladdens me. And I feel like celebrating. Now, go to the fridge, get me a bottle of champagne for this beautiful ladies, then a bottle of red wine for me. Tell me the fox has arrived. Come on, I need to vote boy. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, please. Go. Paint the town blue. Tell me the fox has finally arrived. Hey, Uche. That's me, bro. <laughs> it's gold to be rich. <laughs> Man, this is the newest millionaire in town. <laughs> How low you have sunk. I find it very difficult to recognize you as the son I carried nine months in my womb. Oh, shut up, woman. Shut up! Listen, I am not in the mood for your homely right now, please. Just shut the fuck up. Brad Thomas, how dare you talk to mother like that? Tell me, how else am I supposed to talk to a half a mother? Oh! David, you hit me? I will hit you again and again if you don't shut down your filthy mouth. Listen, you can insult me, you can insult Angela, but you dare not open that your mouth to insult mom. Do you understand me? So, you raise this a filthy heart to hit me. What a drama! A bastard son rising up in the defense of a holy mother. Are you listening? I will take this sign of indiscretion. No. But the next time you raise this a filthy heart, towards my face, I swear to God, I'll crush you. It's a promise. Now, get out of my sight before I change my mind. Ah, well. Man. Yeah, bro, you know, I got home sick. You know what they say, no place like home. Yeah, yeah. No, where are you up to? No, I'm thinking let's just go somewhere, you know, have some drinks, relax, and, you know, just some hot and sex. Well, Sam, I'm sorry I can't go with you. Why? Uh, you see, my grandpa just died. Shit! And I'm stuck in between doing last minute things for him, you know, for the burial. So I'm sorry. The old man Thompson. Dead? Yes, he passed on two days back. Man, that must be tough on you. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. Do you know what? Let me just give you my address, you know? Maybe you come around, let's just talk as an out. Okay. Okay? Alright, that, that would be nice. Okay.
Believe you me, life hasn't been the sweetest, Sam. Come off it, Dave. Not with all that money the old man left behind. Sam, I've come to realize that sometimes money doesn't make a better life. Rather, it could destroy it. Dave, you sound grief. I hope all is well. On the contrary, Sam. Everything seems to have fallen apart. People whom you seem to love suddenly turn out to be strangers. I don't understand. What seems to be the problem? My brother Thomas. He has turned himself into one unrecognizable stranger. I miss him. You can see that again. But I thought your father had a younger brother. Uncle Raymond? Yes, 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 yes. yes. What about him? Uncle Raymond traveled to America ten years ago to pursue his studies. And ever since, no one has heard from him. Damn. Damn, such a mess situation. What are you going to do now? I will do nothing until Grandpa is buried. And then I hope his will will be read. That's the only thing that will solve all these problems. That's a risky situation you have to I feel for you, Dave. Take it easy. Huh? All will be okay. I don't have anything to say to you, woman. What is it that you want to say to me? Look, I don't have time. I have an appointment to catch, okay? Thomas, it's your mother talking. I'm away. What has gone wrong? What have we done that you cannot forgive? What have we done that you cannot find it in your heart to forgive? Your grandfather is dead. This is the time we need to stick to one another. We need to comfort one another, Thomas. My son, whatever it is, please forgive. If not for anything else, for your dead father. Hey, I don't ever want to hear you mention my father's name. Do you hear me? Have you no shame, woman? You are so despicable. I regret you ever giving birth to me in the first place. And I regret it. For your information, don't ever call me your son again. This only me. For what? For what, God? lawyers are here. Your presence is needed. My presence is needed. For what? For the receiving and reading of Grandpa's will. Or oh, weren't you bargaining on Grandpa leaving a will? 
Mr. Thompson, that we're here. Dave, dear, didn't you tell your brother that Grandpa's lawyers are here? I told him as soon as they came in. Maybe I'll go and call him myself. We are waiting for you. Sweet, what was that you just vomited? Are you talking to me? Come here. Are you all right? Are you out of your mind? That's enough, Thomas. Didn't your brother tell you that these gentlemen are waiting for you? Yeah, I'm aware they were waiting. And I mean, uh, they would have gathered their things and left when they realized I wasn't coming if they were intelligent. That's enough, Thomas Thompson. I didn't bring you up to be this rude. Now I want you to apologize to these gentlemen right now. Listen, woman. I don't presume you telling me what to do in my house. Thomas, I will not have you insult mom again. Jesus. What did you call me? I called you an idiot. You, you are insulting me! You are insulting me in my house! Okay. 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 Please, okay. please, 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 what is the issue at hand? Um, the reading of Chief Agent Thompson's will, of course. You, um, Mr. What is that a call? Barrister Steven. Go. Barrister Steven, I want to inform you that I am not down with this funny document that you're carrying here because I know that my grandfather was not in his right senses when you coerced him. All of you under duress to prepare this way. That is a bloody lie and you know it. Grandpa had his faculties well intact when that will was prepared. Listen, that will will be read. It will not only be read, but you, Thomas, must abide by its provisions. Anyway, gentlemen, I will not be insulted in my house by this, um, what do I call you? Anyway, as you can see, I am already dressed for the outdoors. I have business to attend. Good day, gentlemen. Thomas, come back here. Thomas, come back here and stop being a coward. Listen, that one was red, bro. Come back. Well, Mrs. Thompson, and Mr. Dave, I'm sorry we have to leave. You call on us when you are ready. Our numbers are with you. It's getting too much for Thomas. Who? He doesn't have to go and start disgracing us like that now. What's this now? It's enough, children. It's okay. Let us just sit and watch where all this will take Thomas. Isn't it obvious? I mean, it's so obvious that Tom wants everything Grandpa ever labored for to himself. It's about time we call Uncle Raymond in America before Thomas gets out of hand. You have a point there. Thomas, Thomas, this has to stop. This whole rubbish has to stop. Who Grandpa ever labored for to the extent that we, your family members, actually live as beggars in our own house? A bunch of correction. There you go, Rob. I have been found. The only house, this house, belongs to me. My grandfather left this house for me. It is our house and property. And I demand what is rightfully mine, which is my own share of grandpa's estate. Stop deluding yourself. The sooner you accept the fact that you do not belong here, the better for you. And for your information, the only family member that I know is Raymond, my father's brother, who is in far away America. Thankful to God, maybe he's dead. Or oh, he's lost something. That is the only member of this family that I know. What in the blazing hell does that mean? If I run the risk of repeating myself again. I'll tell you. You and your sister do not belong here. I am 
the heir apparent, the only success and the only legitimate owner of this empire and the only living descendant of late Chief A.D. Thompson. That's me. you and I begin to ask myself if you could be driven by so much greed to deny your own blood what stops you from being driven by this same greed to go as far as murder to achieve your selfish aim what murder what are you talking about where's nurse Jojo what has that got to do with anything well I don't know but what I do know is I promise you, I'll get to the root of this all. from David. Can you imagine David raising a finger at me? Jesus Christ! Can you imagine? 
He will learn. He will learn the hard way. I will teach him how to bite a finger that feeds him. Yes, I will teach him the hard way. Take those things out. This is the height. That's the end. I don't want to see anybody in this compound. Take them out. Oh, what's going on here? No. Talk to me. What's going on? No, no, no. no, no. Take me. Oh, excuse me. Let Who do you think you are? Huh? Huh? Take him out. Take him out. Hey, woman, follow your son. No, no. Give me brother. Come on, come on there. Get out. 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 My friend Sam, I've known him for a long time, you know, since the university. Is he not going to object to this invasion? Oh no, he won't. No, he said we should stay at his boys' quarters until we are ready to go. Besides, he's not in town. Well, it's a nice place he has here. Yes. Mom, please go in and have a rest. Um, Angela, do the unpacking. Let me go get us something to eat. Do you have enough money? Are you sure? Okay, be careful. I see no, you not here for me. You not see you. I hope, don't worry, I'm back now. Mm -hmm. Welcome, sir. No problem. Uh, where is everybody? All of them, come on. Nobody now. Let me do. And the rose is not here? Nobody is here. Ah. Oga, okay. my money. Uh -huh. Wow. Get those. Bring the key to
<laughs> Good to see. You know what happened? We yeah. had all taken you for dead. Okay. Why didn't you call us? You never bothered. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. Very sorry. It was that I was swept up by events. Before I realized what was happening, the time has flown. <laughs> well, it's one thing with your scholars abroad. It's always like that. Oh, don't tell me that it's a woman that loved you into forgetting your country. Oh, come on. Come off that Toby. <laughs> you know I'm, I can't do it. So, how you doing? You're looking good. <laughs> <laughs> come on, I came in here. There was nobody. Uh, why is everybody? Ah, uh, by the way, uh, what, what's my old man? Everywhere. Oh, so I there's no problem. Don't buy stairs. I don't know. I never had a slight idea. I never knew. Okay. We, we never knew where you were. We would have breached you. Oh my god. I got to think that I was not there. I was not there to watch my father drop his last breath. I, I, I would have been around. I would have been coming home. But I made a great mistake. Oh my God, I was thinking he would have been always there for me. What has happened has happened, okay? There is no more crying over spilled milk. It was his time to go. So he did. So stop eating up yourself and um, let move on with your life. Will my father ever forgive me? Does it matter? <laughs> what is the use of the forgiveness of the dead? Listen, life must go on. We have to move into the next stage of life. What about Auntie Rose? Angela and Ted, where are they? Oh, they, they're beautiful. They're okay. See, they were struck badly at the news of Grandpa's death. It was devastating, so I had to arrange to send them abroad. They're in London right now. You sent them to London? Exactly. Thank you so much. Um, um, make yourself comfortable. Whatever you want, call them. You shall be provided. And just go up, freshen up, then come back for us to discuss some details. not enough. You ushered him in my sitting room. He was relaxing. You gave him my drink. My own drink that I bought with my money. I teach your girl with money, but I make her open the door. Shut up. Shut up. Hey? What's your thing? Do you know how much you want to see him? Do you know? Before you leave this compound, you're going to pay for a red wine. Yes, sir. Can you imagine? You gave my red wine to someone I'm not even sure that knows the amount of the wine, the value. And he was relaxing in my sitting room. I was drinking. Eh? Can you imagine the nonsense you have just done? He, he came back with nothing? How many years in the US? Do you think I run a charity organization here? Any thousands are just watching, anyhow, you, you offer him. You... Sorry. 
<laughs> Dave, I don't know. I don't know. Since you left, she has not spoken a word to me. I think she's getting worse. It's all right. I've already called the taxi. Let's get to the hospital. Yes. Okay. So, how is she? Is she going to be all right? Oh, well, we, we hope so. But your sister has an acute malaria and a type of facial malaria and have tried her blood. So, she needs some pints of blood. Oh, doctor, take mine. I can surely donate. Yeah, we, we've run the test, but the bloods are not compatible. Yeah. So what is going to happen to her now, Doctor? Uh, since the account has been closed by Thomas Thompson, we need at least 45000 now to carry out the test and treatment. It's, it's all right, Doctor. It's okay. Mom, please take care of her. on someone's privacy. Look, Thomas, I'm not here for trouble. Okay. Tell me. What are you here for? What can I do for you? charity organization here. This company donated money for charity. If you were here last year, maybe you would have gotten even more than what you're asking for right now. Thomas, are you mad? What is wrong with you? I just saw you give a girl 50,000 naira, but for you to give me a man for 5,000 naira to save your sister's life, you don't want to? Unfortunately, I don't have any sister called Angela. No, I would have done something. Trust me. What is wrong with you? What have we done to you? I mean, which one of us wronged you to warrant such hatred from you, Thomas? Thomas, look at me. It's I, David, your brother, that's talking to you now. Have you forgotten how we used to be in the past? We were so happy. We shared ideas together. But when everything together, what are you wanting? What are you wanting? What are you wanting? David, you are not my brother. And Angela is not my sister either. The only thing that we have in common is that slut of a woman we call mom. Look, Thomas. If you want to deny myself and Angela being members of the family, you can do that without insulting them. And why do you keep on carrying on with that stupid lie you made up? But is it true? What do you mean is it true? I also try to say that Maxwell Thompson is not my father. Don't ask me. Ask your mother. Because it is only a woman that knows the father of her children. Maybe when you do, do, you get to find out. Maybe you share the same blood with Angela. That's why you love her so much. Maybe may God forgive you. Don't bother. 
for the past two weeks. Really? Wait a second. When did you come back from London? I never traveled to London. But Tommy told me he sent you guys to London after our father's burial. Uncle Raymond, Tom relieved me of my job and threw us out of the house. Only for him to turn around to tell you that you sent us to London? Excuse me. Threw you out of the house? Why? Uncle Raymond, it's a long story. Right now, I need 45,000 naira because Angela is sick at the hospital and she needs blood. The doctor says I should get the money within the next four hours. Angela is sick. Yes. That's what I need from now. Okay, we will drop out at the bank, okay? Just pull it up there. Let's just go. There's no problem. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who are you out of the house? Uh, uh, doctor, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, the money. The cashier refused to take the money from me. I'm sorry, you came too late, Dave. What? 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 What do you mean? Get to the Doctor, 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 this is this is the money. This is the money. You said I should stay four hours. I should bring the money four hours, and this is four hours. No, 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 doctor, you you can't tell me that's not fair. It's not fair. Oh, what do you mean? I should come down. I have to tell her not dead. She's not dead. Don't do something. Don't do something. You can't tell me. How can you tell me she's dead? How can you tell me she's dead? Don't do something. Don't do something. What do you mean I should come down? I'm here. What's going on? I swear to God I never knew all this. Tommy told me he sent all of you to London. I never knew he threw all of you away. He threw you out of the house. And as if it has gotten so greedy. I never knew. Raymond, how could you have known? How could you have known? You were not around. The thing that pains me most is that I saw Thomas give a girl 50,000 naira. Mm. But for him, to give me a mere 45,000 naira to save Angela's life, he refused. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. Thomas, I will kill you. I will make you pay for Angela's death. Calm down, Dave. Calm down. Don't let this in. Make you to do what you're not supposed to do. Please calm down. You're telling me to calm down. How can I calm down when the man, the bastard responsible for my sister's death, is out there making merry? Please. <laughs> Dave, don't go! Dave. I just lost a daughter. I don't want to lose it, so please.
Mom. Yes, my son. I want to ask you something, and I want to know the truth. What is it? The day I went to see Thomas to give me money for Angela's treatment, and he refused. He gave one of his reasons as being that I and Angela are not really his blood relatives. And that the man I believe to be my father actually died before I and Angela were born. So mom, I need to know the truth. Was Maxwell Thompson my true father? With the way you're fidgeting, it could be true. Because I can't believe a true brother of mine would be this cold-hearted. David, please, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so, so... Angry. Is it true? Oh, God. Dave, please don't ask me. I can't talk. I don't want to hurt you, please. Well, it's too late for that. So please get on with it and tell me It all started a month after the death of my husband, Maxwell, Thomas's father, whom I had loved so much and could not still believe had died. I was in my room crying when Chief Thompson, Maxwell's father, came in. For how long are you going to continue like this? How long are you going to keep mourning, Maxwell? Till eternity? It's been a whole month since he died. We thought by now you should be trying to get your life together again. How can I go on? Where do I start? Death has cheated me. Death has taken away the only light I see. Stop, 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 stop. Don't go on so. Maxwell is dead. Yes. But life must go on. Besides, I am always here for you. I will provide everything for you. All you need to do is ask. Chief, I hope you're not suggesting what I think you're suggesting. What if I am? I'm your son's wife for crying out loud. Correction. You are my late son's wife. Besides, you're a woman. And I'm a man like every other man who knows beauty when he sees it. You're a beautiful woman, Rose. Hmm? Just give him to me. And I will make sure you do not regret it. God forbid. Did you hear what you just took with me? God forbid that I should do such a despicable thing. Chief, you should be ashamed of yourself for saying that. Well, we'll see. Should you change your mind? You know where to find me. straw was the day Tommy fell sick and needed to be flown abroad for treatment. I went to my father-in-law and he laughed in my face. He, 
he he told me that the life of my son is in my hands that if i want him to leave i should agree to his proposals what was i to do good morning chief Tommy School wrote this letter and said that um, his school fees is long overdue. Good. That that they are going to send him back if he doesn't pay. And so, what does that have to do with me? Am I his father? You are his grandfather, my late husband's father. It's naturally your responsibility to take care of us now that he's dead. I'm sorry if I disappoint you. I refuse to take on the button my son left behind. But, but Chief, sir, sir, you know my husband didn't have money when he was alive. I know. So I went to work in money to pay the school fees and every other thing. Just succumb to the naturality of my proposal to you and all will be fine. You will see. I'm going to the office. Chief, please help me. Who is there? Ah, Rose, come on in. of Chief A.J. Thompson, the father of my late husband, the grandfather of my first son, became the father of my two other children. waiting for you. I thought something had happened to you. Mom, as you can see, I'm fine. Your food has gotten cold. I'm not hungry. Oh, 
David, he is my son. Please, you are all I have now. Do not condemn me for a situation I have no control over. You are all I have now. So please find me. Mom, I know you did what any woman who loved her child would do. So I forgive you. You do? Of course I do. Thank you. Thank you, my son. Thank you. I prepared your favorite meal. Let's go inside so that you can eat. I'm seriously not hungry. Please. Even if it's a little. Raymond, I know what I did was wrong, but I didn't have any option. Auntie Rose, I cannot place any judgment on you. You just did what you felt was good for your son, so I can't do it. Mom, it's quite unfortunate. Quite unfair to see that the one person you sold your dignity for actually is the same person who hates you. I feel like squeezing the life out of you. Dave, take it easy. You need to understand your brother. Thomas is so blinded by anger and the feeling of betrayal. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Well, be it as, as it may, I think we just have to try and rescue our father's companies from his hand. Yes, he is just a nephew. He, he, he is a grandson for that, for that matter. He doesn't have any legal right over our father's properties. He doesn't. So what do we do? Well, I just have to tell him that now I am ready to take over our father's companies. Simple. Uncle Raymond, it's not as easy as you make it seem. You see, the Thomas you used to know is not the same. He is now as dangerous as a rattlesnake. I'm even beginning to suspect he has a hand in my father's death. David! Well, whatever you do, just be lenient with him. Remember that he's your flesh. Yes, Tom. It's been two weeks now that I came into the country, and I think it's uh, rather high time for me to take things at heart. I'm sorry I didn't quite get you. What things do you want to take in hand? Everything, everything. Our father's uh, estate, the company I need to put things in order and to change some things and reorganize some things. Um, I think you've mapped out so many things to do. I mean, what time would you have to execute these things before heading back to the States? No, I've decided I wouldn't travel back to the United States. I wouldn't want my father's switch to be in vain. I want to manage the company the way he would want it if he were to be alive. And by the way, I want to really thank you. Thank you very much for the input you've uh, put in while I was away. I want to tell you in a very short while, the body will be lifted up from your shoulder. I really, really appreciate all. Thank you so much. I see. Uh, I've heard what you said. There won't be any problem with that. But you see, I think you need someone to show you the robes, so to speak. Oh yes, of course, I realize. I realize that. Good. Right now, there are so many things needing my attention. I have to attend to them. I don't have the chance right now, but not to worry. I'll get back to you. Yes, I must do something. Yes, I must do something because I will 
you know, you just appear from the bridge, you take over what I'm doing, what so much to do actually. I want you to get the card ready. We're going out right now, okay? Let me go upstairs and change, right? Okay? Because of good. So, madam, please, can you tell us what happened to you at Caprice Hotel? I... I can't. I... Come on. Look. Calm your mouth, madam. You don't have to be scared. You see, we just need your statement to help in our investigations. So, we need total cooperation. That's all. I... He'll find me. Who? Oh. And he'll kill me. Please, I, I can't say it. Please. Nobody is going to kill you, madam. You are under our protection. But you just have to talk to us. So that whoever did this to you will be stopped before it gets too late. Come on. See, speak up. Look, if you're afraid of anybody, we are promising you police protection, 24 hours police protection. Open up, come and tell us. What happened? Your last prayer. Because I don't need anything from you. How much do you pay for? How, I, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will give you double, please. How much do you pay for? give you your last prayer. Take care to hell. You have two hands up. Come on, leader. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The policeman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What? Thank you. My God, we underestimated Tom. Yes, I told you to be careful, but I never knew Tom would go this far. I'm still shocked at the news that Tom could send assassins. Assassins after me. You don't know Tom. Okay, okay, Uncle Ray, tell me, tell me, how did it happen? You know, how did, did the police come right on time, you know, when the assassins were about shooting you? It is God. God, it's just mere coincidence. The police actually came to arrest Tom. They said from their finding that it was Tom that killed her father. I knew it. I knew it. I, I knew Tom had a hand in Grandpa's death. I knew it. How can he have a hand? How can't he? If he could do this to me, then he, he can equally wipe the whole family because of money. Great. Tom. Money. Tom. That is him. That is a criminal. 
What's the meaning of all this? Can, can someone tell me what's going on here? Who are these people? Thomas, I warned you. I told you that one day you would meet your Waterloo. What the hell are you blabbing about? Mr. Thomas, you are under arrest for the murder of Chief H.J. Thompson and two counts of attempted murders. What rubbish! Who are you? Who brought into this company in the first place? You came into my compound and you insult me? Do you know who I am? Hey, listen, young man. I'll have your job if you don't take your time. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent because whatever you say here will be used You're against you in the you court of law. Arrest him! You are mad. You must be out of your mind. Because I'm not even sure that you went to the police college. Because I know that you are being thought on how to arrest people with evidence. Oh, Thomas! The earlier you shut your trap, the better for you. David, you're talking to me? I'm talking to you, all right. Listen, Nurse Jojo didn't die. She is, as we speak, at the police station singing like a bird. So what? So what? Thomas, I am disappointed in you. To think that you could take the life of a human being and plot it on taking another one. Oh, shut up! Please! What, what is all this? And coffee, him and no, take him away. I will talk to my lawyer. And coffee, him and take him away. I will talk to my lawyer. Shut up. You, David, you. Now move. Asamu, you now have both. Asamu, you now have both. I will deal with all of them. I said, shut up. Move. I will talk to my lawyer. You don't have any evidence. Move, brother. Move. No evidence. It's yours. Remember the rain on the roof that morning And all the things that I wanted to say And the angry words that came from nowhere without warning That stole the moment and sent me away And you standing there Just couldn't seem to turn that car.